welcome student in my next tutorial based upon ms word so last time i have taught you how to use the page color and different options we have used even we have used fill effects gradients we have used so i'll choose uh, so i'll choose some gradient uh, from here so today i'll teach you how to use page borders i click upon page borders and this borders and shading dialog box will appear in front of you and you can select here art from here whichever border is attractive or you want to use you can select that border suppose i want to select this border and click on okay i should suggest you that for uh, seeing the whole screen the options what i taught you earlier you have to go to view and from view you can click upon one page if you click on one page you could see how your page looks like i'll again go to design and from here page borders and this is the width option so what the border you have given this is the width option suppose i click i'll make it smaller you could see here the difference and you could see it will be changed the size is smaller now again clicking on border and shading option you can select some other and then okay you could see the difference okay again so different styles are there from page border you could uh, preformatted arts you could use that i have taught you even you can use the lines suppose this is none nothing is there then box box i have already told you means from here the art but if you want to select the line you can select the line from here where the style is given and then directly you can click on shadow it will look it will give the outlook like this 3d and then i'll click upon width width means how much broader you want like suppose 2 uh, click on okay you will see the line something like this see then color of the line you want to change the color of the line suppose this one you want to change i suppose i selected red you will see the red color line this is the red color line the border and then even the style of the lines if you want to change suppose you want something like this with style increase you could see how it's changed so i hope the concept is very much clear to you ha the last option was custom from custom if you don't want uh, the border should cover from the top so i can click it again here even i can select from the bottom and if i click on okay you will see the, only the border is covering right and left sides it's not covering the whole document so i hope this page border concept is very much clear to you and after this watermark option watermark means if you want to uh, show your name or it can it can be used when you, uh, if you are in company and you, your company's name you want somewhere at the background of the page you can use this watermark option suppose i click on watermark option it is showing me the styles like suppose do not copy so you could see here it's coming here do not copy it's written here confidential you could see here confidential is coming and draft sample everything if you want to make your own custom watermark means suppose you want to write your own name you can click upon custom watermark and uh, this kind of dialog box will appear printed watermark language india text 
and here you want to write your own name suppose i am writing here my name and uh, color of the text uh, whichever you feel like you can give okay so you will see my name is appearing as a watermark so today in my this tutorial i have covered page borders and watermark so with this topic i am closing my tutorial still if you have any doubt please comment at the bottom and if you like my tutorial please do like share and comment okay bye bye take care wait for my next tutorial